Jumping in, served to you by the wine cellar. Hello, good evening, and welcome. And indeed, here we are again with our friends in the wine cellar. Of course, it is a Saturday night, November. Where's the time going? It is the best in modern and contemporary jazz. Jumping in with myself, H. And me, Chris. Yes, welcome along to this week's show. And of course, it's one of our favourite times of the year. For the next ten days and nights, the London Jazz Festival will be showcasing some of the best jazz talent from around the world, including plenty of homegrown UK players and an opportunity for new jazz talent to shine. And we will be there. Sadly, not for the whole thing, as budgets and indeed wives have not allowed us thus far. But you can be sure we'll be bringing you some great artist interviews in future shows including a number we already have in the can. But for this week, we'll concentrate on some of the great new releases around. So, H, what has been grabbing you this week? New kids on the block, old masters, or possibly hidden archive material? And are there a few that should go straight to the bargain racks or into the back of the cupboard? All of the above, I would say, probably to that one. I do have something, a, a nice newie from Dan Weiss, who was a drummer, uh, never less than interesting, I've always enjoyed listening to. Uh, we've got A Birthday Boy, a classic, is a great favourite on this programme. And I've also got one we haven't done for a while, All the New Dreams, with Andrew Hill. And for me, well, we cha-cha-cha with a couple of influential masters. We dance with a newcomer. We remember the night, and to start the ball rolling, we're off into the blue yonder with Drew Zaremba.
Hmm, Blue Yonder, indeed. The opener from Drew Zaremba's recently released album, My Mind on Quarantine. Written, although perhaps not recorded nor performed during the enforced quarantine we all experienced to some extent over the last few years. But who is he, I hear you ask? One thing we're constantly surprised by in this programme is how often we find people who have immense, immense uh, career and back catalogues that we've never heard of, and it just shows you what a great music it is. Uh, at the age of 31, he's won multiple composition awards. He's written and arranged for the BBC Orchestra the WDR Big Band, the NDR Big Band, Dallas Symphony Orchestra, the Metropole Orchestra, worked and toured with Randy Brecker, Eddie Gomez, the Pyramid Jazz Orchestra, and he's also happy teaching, taking the lead sax chair, or playing high woodwinds in an orchestra, or film scoring, or touring with his funk band playing Hammond Organ. He's obviously got talent to spay, and I have to say, I've really been enjoying this album, and I can highly recommend it. One to look out for, even if you don't know him, Drew Zaremba, My Mind on Quarantine. Yeah, good stuff. Great way to get going as well, and you're right, there's so many bands out there. Yeah, and we'd need four times the amount of programmes we've got to even feature, uh, you know, half of them, I would think. And, of course... There's all those people that have gone before and so much great recorded legacy by so many of them, including this man coming up, our birthday boy, sadly no longer with us, Charlie Mariano, born on this day, November the 12th, 1923, and uh, passed away, I'm afraid, in Germany, where he was living, I think, for several years in uh, June of 2009. At a fairly good age of 85, so yeah, not too bad, particularly for jazzers, <laughs> I think. Although they're pretty healthy types these days compared to back in the day with Charlie Parker and Thelonious and the likes. Uh, but Charlie uh, came from... They were Italian uh, immigrants who were going into the States into Boston, Massachusetts, and he was actually uh, christened... Carmen Ugo Mariano, but became known as uh, Charlie, of course, throughout his uh, professional career. Played with, well, you name it, who, who, who's who of jazzers over the years. Played with the Stan Kenton big band. Uh, married, of course, Toshiko Akiyoshi for a time and uh, had that quartet. Toshiko Akiyoshi, Charlie Mariano <laughs> quartet, which had some cracking albums and played with Charlie Mingus. The United Jazz and Rock Ensemble and Eberhard Weber, to name just a few. Let's hear him back uh, a few years back in 1993 on the occasion of his 70th birthday with a track called Il Piacer. <laughs>
As you can gather, live back in 1993 for his 70th birthday, as he was then. Mariano and Friends is the album, and I hadn't heard it for a while, actually. I dug it out when I saw that it was its birthday, 16th of October, during the Leverkusener Jazzetage Festival, an all-star band of artists from around the world celebrating the birthday of one of the world-class musicians of our time, as it suggests quite rightly, Charlie Mariano and his lifelong love of jazz of all forms and a sort of another musical traveller between different cultures. Il Piacer, that was called by Aldo Romano, Charlie on sax, Jasper Van Toff, grand piano, J.F. Jenny Clark on bass, Aldo on drums and uh, a little bit of percussion there from Samson Gassama. Now, as the weather grows colder, minds perhaps turn to sunnier climes and who wouldn't enjoy a cocktail and perhaps take to the floor for a uh, Mambo Influenciado.
Some things are just better together. Fish and chips, cheese and wine, bovril and toast. It's a personal one. OK, and rum and pretty much anything else. And indeed, Chucho Valdez and Paquito de Rivera. And Mambo Influenciado comes from their recently released album, I Missed You Too, which brings the pianist and saxophonist together for the first time in 42 years since de Rivera left Cuba and defected to the USA. They met in 1962, and the group Irikere, do you remember Irikere? I do H- remember yes. Irikere. Yeah, Irikere was one of the most influential, bringing Cuban dance music actually much rockier, uh, mixed with fiery virtuosity to a world stage, and now their reunion sextet brings them together some 60 years afterwards, and their first meeting sounds as fresh as ever. Let's hope there's more releases to come, and thanks very much to Sunnyside Records for sending us that burst of aptly sunny music. Yeah, we could do with that, a little bit of sunshine, wouldn't mind that at all. Very nice. I could do with a a warm, sunny beach for a few days. would uh, brighten things to no end. You're listening to Jumping In, of course, uh, here on Mike's Radio, the best in modern and contemporary jazz with Chris and myself, H. And I thought we hadn't done one of our... We have a few little sort of series going from time to time, uh, Birthday Boys, which we had one, another one we haven't done for a long time, Old and New Dreams. But the concept is simple. We just take an artist who's recorded over a long period of time and play a track from very early in their career and back-to-back it with a track from much later on in their career. So I thought today, why not a little bit of Andrew Hill? Quirky, never less interesting, quite sort of intense and academic player at times of the piano on Blue Note, going back to the day and right up to recent times as well. So without further ado, we'll start off in 1964 with Point of Departure, and then we will skip forward a mere 41 years to his album Timelines. Thank you. 
Old and New Dreams. That's the name of our little uh, series, so yes. So first off, two bits of Andrew Hill. Firstly, from 1964 in the Rudy Van Gelder Studios in the company. Fantastic company of Kenny Dorham on trumpet. Eric Dolphy on alto sax. Uh, Joe Henderson on the tenor. Andrew himself, Hill, of course, on the piano. Richard Davis bass and uh, the great Tony Williams on the drums with a track called Flight 19. And then skip forward 41 years... And here he was, still on Blue Note, produced by Michael Cascuna. Now on piano, of course, Greg Tardy playing uh, saxophone, Charles Tolliver on the trumpet, John Herbert on the bass, Eric McPherson on the drums, and a track there called Fly Round 2. Interestingly, there's one track actually sounded quite similar, so I didn't actually choose it because I didn't want to bore you. Uh, but it's interesting how, just listening, how people's styles have developed. And in his case, quite often become much more Spartan. I would say over those years, perhaps trying to say more with less. Jumping in with the wine cellar, stockists to the largest range of wines, beers, spirits, and cocktails on the island. Joe Henderson, though, he was another one who had a double career like Charles Lloyd, wasn't he? He came back and did yeah, fantastic albums later on. Now, a couple of months ago on the show, I brought you a track from Swedish pianist and composer Adam Forkelid's 2018 release, Reminiscence, which I know you enjoyed, H. And, uh, well, I was looking around and saw he had a new release coming up shortly. And this quartet one, also from last year, from First Moment, here's Gnosien. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, this is Dave Holland. I just want to let you know you're listening to Manx Radio. The show is Jumping In with Chris and H. Hope you enjoy it. Keep listening.
an album out just yesterday. Dedication, the latest one from drummer-composer Dan Weiss, paying homage to his formative influences and loved ones in a new trio album with Jacob, Jacob Sachs on piano and the great bass playing there of Thomas Morgan, of course, who works widely with loads of people, including, uh, of course, Bill Frizzell, and uh, also a dedication on that to his grandmother. How nice is that? And before that, Gnossien from Adam Forkelid's 2021 release, First Movement, with Carl Mourner on guitar, Nicholas Fernquist on bass, Daniel Fredriksen on the drums. And who is Adam Forkelid? Well, he's a first call Swedish tourist now, with the Norbotten Big Band, Maria Schneider Orchestra, and numerous other countrymen. Well, that's about it for this week, and we've just got time to bring you a track from the 2020 release, Memory Moment, from Russian Jazz's LRK Trio. Their fourth release on the Norwegian Lusen label, they are pianist, keyboardist Eveni Lebdev, bassist, and Ante Revnik and percussionist Ignat Krastjov. And this is Evening. Evening all. See you next week. LJF, here we come. Thank you. 